the Marine Corps XQ-58A Valkyrie, a highly autonomous, low-cost tactical unmanned air vehicle, recently successfully completed its second test flight at Elgin Air Force Base, Florida. The XQ-58A provides the Marine Corps with a testbed platform for developing technologies and new concepts in support of the Marine Air Ground Task Force, such as autonomous flight and unmanned teaming with crewed aircraft. The Marine Corps' continued experimentation with the XQ-58 is sponsored under the Department of Defense's Rapid Defense Experimentation Reserve Program, which accelerates the delivery of capabilities to the Joint Force. This successful flight is a key milestone in implementing Project Eagle, the service's aviation modernization strategy in support of broader force design modernization efforts. The XQ-58A and other Project Eagle research and experimentation platforms will inform capabilities needed in future conflicts up to 2040. The Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie is a stealthy unmanned combat aerial vehicle initially designed and built by Kratos and demonstrated to the U.S. Air Force through the low-cost attributable strike demonstrator program under the USAF Research Laboratory's low-cost attributable aircraft technology project portfolio. The low-cost attributable aircraft technology portfolio was established to break the escalating cost trajectory of tactically relevant aircraft and provide an affordable, significantly lower cost-to-weight solution as an unmanned escort or wingmanned aircraft alongside a crewed fighter aircraft in combat. The Valkyrie XQ-58A is a combat drone designed to deliver weapons or assist fighter jets using artificial intelligence. The prototype has been in development for years and is able to travel 3,000 miles at an altitude of up to 45,000 feet. Experts now say this unmanned vehicle could play a role in a multi-billion dollar U.S. military effort to use AI to expand its assets to keep up with increasingly advanced adversaries like China. Scott Bay, a prototyping and experimentation portfolio manager at the Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Research and Engineering, has revealed that the U.S. Marine Corps plans a series of six test flights with the Valkyrie. These test flights are envisioned to play a pivotal role in shaping the future requirements and capabilities of autonomous aircraft. During the span of these six planned test flights, the U.S. Marine Corps is set to conduct a thorough assessment of the XQ-58 and artificial intelligence-driven aircraft in a broader context. The evaluation will include a diverse array of mission profiles, encompassing intelligence gathering, surveillance, and reconnaissance missions, and providing electronic warfare support to crewed platforms. It remains uncertain whether any testing will encompass the deployment of weaponry or other equipment, but during the 2023 Miramar Air Show, the Marine Valkyrie was exhibited alongside two non-functional AIM-120 Advanced Medium Range Air-to-Air -air Missiles, or AMRAM, and a non-active 500-pound Class Joint Direct Attack Munition, or JDAM, Precision Guided Bomb. Future test flights of the Marine Corps XQ-58A Valkyrie play an integral role in the Marine Corps efforts to modernize and enhance capabilities in a rapidly evolving security environment. The XQ-58A has a total of six planned test flights, which will evaluate the effectiveness of autonomous electronic support on crewed platforms like the USMC F-35B Lightning II and the potential for AI-enabled platforms to augment combat air patrols. AI testing requires combining new and traditional test and evaluation techniques. The team has a lot of lessons learned that will be used to inform future programs, said Ryan Bowers, 40th FLTS engineer, about each new XQ-58 launch at Elgin. The DOD is committed to the responsible employment of AI. Achieving responsible use of AI requires a team of developers and users of AI-enabled autonomy working in collaboration with acquisition specialists. 
AI will be a critical element to future warfighting and the speed at which we're going to have to understand the operational picture and make decisions, said Brigadier General Scott Kane, Air Force Research Lab Commander. AI, autonomous operations, and human-machine teaming continue to evolve at an unprecedented rate, and we need the coordinated efforts of our government, academia, and industry partners to keep pace. The XQ-58A is envisioned to provide capability to the Marine Air Ground Task Force. The ranges from electronic warfare support to delivering or supporting lethal fires and kill chains. Key contributions to other service-level research and development programs, such as the Penetrating Affordable Autonomous Collaborative Killer Portfolio. In addition, the Valkyrie's ability to engage in electronic warfare missions alongside stealthily crewed F-35 Joint Strike Fighters has been a focal point of interest for the Marines. The XQ-58 boasts a fully runway independent design, employing a rocket-assisted takeoff method facilitated by a static ground-based launcher. To return to the ground, the drone employs a parachute recovery system with inflatable airbags serving to cushion its landing. With its 30-foot overall length and 27-foot wingspan, the XQ-58 has an impressive maximum range of approximately 3,000 miles and a maximum launch weight of 6,500 pounds which includes an internal payload bay capable of carrying up to 600 pounds and an additional 600 pounds under its wings. It maintains a subsonic cruising speed of Mach 0.72 with a capacity to reach a maximum speed of approximately Mach 0.85. Given its capability for runway independence, rapid deployability, low observable characteristics, and substantial 3,000-mile range, the XQ-58 holds significant relevance for operations in the Pacific theater. Over the years, the U.S. military started prioritizing swift deployment and the ability to sustain high-end operations in forward, sometimes remote, locations. The U.S. Marines are actively investing in a range of unmanned aerial systems. In August, Marine Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Squadron 3, or VMU-3, reached operational status with the new MQ-9A Reaper UAV within the Marine Corps. Additionally, the service has been observed utilizing the VBAT and TRV-50 Tactical Resupply Unmanned Aircraft System in Western Pacific exercises, showcasing their commitment to advancing unmanned capabilities.